I was called a clown when I, you know, the Bugatti, the Boo, Goo, Boo, Bugatti. Villasuela, Villasuela actually just the Shibu Inu, the Holy Ghost coins. Efficacy. I said efficacy. It's efficacy. Stock Up with Larry Jones just launched a brand new course for $379 in partnership with his little grifter buddies who also have a terrible track record when it comes to making money in the stock market. So in today's video, we'll be going over all of Larry Jones's stock picks so I can further reiterate my question of why in God's name would anybody ever even consider buying this guy's course you're literally paying almost four hundred dollars to buy a stock course from somebody who doesn't know anything and has never shown proof that he actually made any money in the stock market and today i'm going to prove that to you so let's dive in on September 7th of 2021, Larry Jones talked about a stock called Volta and said that he was buying the stock at $9.50 per share. Larry Jones then proceeded to make several videos about Volta, giving his followers news updates regarding the company, saying positive things about it almost daily, and also buying the dip on the stock himself. Well, fast forward to today and Volta stock went from $9.50 to 85 cents a share and is down 91% from where Larry Jones first bought it. Now, to make matters worse, I skimmed through some of Larry's uh, recent videos, and in every single video, I found several comments of very sad and upset people who lost a crap ton of money or are down huge in Volta because they followed stock up with Larry Jones into that stock back when it was $9.50. Moving on to the next stock, on March 21st of 2022, Larry Jones made a video titled Mullen, Make Money With Without FOMO. So he's advertising that you can make money with Mullen stock. However, there's only one small problem. Mullen did nothing but go straight down right after he made this video. Folks, I wish I was joking, but I'm serious. Also put a buy order back into Mullen at 282 and it probably filled, but I'm here with you guys. So it probably filled at 282. I'm looking to get 489 489 is my strike price to sell larry jones bought and talked about mullen stock on march 21st of last year that was literally the top if we look at this chart right here you could clearly see that march 21st 2022 which is when larry jones promoted the stock was literally the top for mullen stock and it has done nothing but go lower and lower and lower to where it is now sitting at 22 cents a share, which by the way is a 92% decrease from when Larry Jones bought it. Oh, uh, Larry's taking your money. And I'm going, I don't sell anything. I haven't sold anything. How am I taking your money? Three days later. Tonight, I am releasing my class. In my class, it is the ultimate beginner's class. How could this course be the ultimate beginner's class when Larry Jones himself is a subpar stock picker slash investor? I mean, seriously, can you imagine paying someone who's not a plumber $200 to fix your sink? Can you imagine paying someone who has no coding background or experience $600 for their course on how to code? No, you couldn't imagine doing that, could you? So why in the finance community are we so happy with paying insane amounts of money to people who have no finance background or provable financial experience. $300 for their beginner's course? The finance industry is one of the only industries where some random person who used to be an Uber driver in 2008, stock up with Larry Jones was driving Uber. And I would drive sometimes an hour and a half. Can come out of nowhere and charge hundreds of dollars for a stock course. And I want to make it very clear. There is nothing wrong with being an Uber driver. But my point is, if you got in a car with Uber to go to the bar or something like that, and your Uber driver said, hey, I've got a $300 stock course that will teach you everything you need to know about finance. Would you buy that course? No. Okay then. So why in God's name would you buy Larry Jones's beginner stock course? Besides having 500,000 subscribers on YouTube, what other credibility does he have to teach about the stock market? He doesn't even show his returns. Larry Jones has never shown a brokerage statement or his yearly performance, 
Nothing that will indicate that he is good at investing. And while we're on the subject of charging $379 for a beginner's course, I want to make it very clear to everyone that you do not have to pay any money for a beginner's course. There are a ton of online free resources that are taught by professionals with an actual finance or accounting background. You can literally go to the corporatefinanceinstitute.com and find free two to three hour stock market beginners courses for free that are taught by actual industry experts. You can also go to the website called Udemy and you can also go to investing101.net. They have a free course as well. And can anybody show me proof that Larry Jones has ever even made the money? Literally all of his stock picks are down. Somebody please email me, show me something. Show me proof that you made money from following Larry Jones' stock picks over the last year or two. This guy has been on YouTube since 2020 and I haven't seen one stock that he's ever talked about that is done well over the long term. Now, Larry Jones has this strange fake pastor thing going on. He uses religion to suck people onto his finance grip. It's very similar to what some of these controversial pastors with these mega churches uh, do. They teach God and forgiveness and display a good image, but in reality, they're just using religion to get other religious folks to let their guard down and trust them. And it's absolutely disgusting. But let me ask you guys this. Uh, would a true man of God accept $30,000 to promote a pump and dump penny stock to his followers? No, right? Well, that's exactly what Larry Jones did. You see, in a video titled Hot Penny Stock That Will Soon Explode that was released on January 21st of 2021, Larry Jones promoted a penny stock called NEXE Innovations. But wait a second. Hasn't Larry Jones said in numerous videos? Money isn't everything. Okay, well, if money isn't everything, then why did you accept $30,000 to promote a pump and dump penny stock to your followers? Now, Larry Jones did disclose uh, in the video that it was a sponsorship and that he was paid to promote it. But to me, that doesn't matter because when your followers see a video by you titled hot penny stock that will soon explode, people are still going to buy it because they trust you. And if you don't believe me when I say people still got hurt, even though Larry disclosed that he was paid to promote it, just take a look at some of these comments that I found under Stock Up with Larry Jones's videos. By the way, I also do want to point out that when Larry Jones did the paid promotion for NEXE stock, that was literally the top. Right here is when Larry Jones was paid $30,000 to promote the stock. And as you can see, the stock is now down 70% from that time and he literally promoted it in a sponsored video at the top which means there's no way in hell anybody made money from buying this stock that he promoted and one of the biggest problems that i have with larry jones is that in my personal opinion i believe that larry jones lies a lot i mean for crying out loud he has a video where he claimed that he turned twenty four hundred dollars into fifty three thousand dollars i'm gonna look you in the eye and tell you that when I received my stimulus check, my wife and myself, you guys that were with me, leave a comment. I turned $2,400 into $53,000 in 2020 and 2021. And then I doubled that. What? And then I doubled that. As a matter of fact, I made enough money to buy my house, Shut your stupid buy ass. my brand new Rubicon truck. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? My wife's XTX Cadillac times 2.75. What kind of shit is that? It's absolutely insane. And all I will say is this, Larry, the reason why I mainly think you're lying is because, like I said, when you make claims like that, you got to prove that one. He never showed proof of it. You guys notice that? That's the way these guys do it on YouTube. They just expect you to just believe whatever they say. They make these insane, outrageous claims saying that they made returns that even the greatest stock investors of all time can't even get, but they never show the proof. Why did Larry never show you guys proof that he turned his $2,400 into $53,000 and then he doubled that and then he doubled that? Where's the proof? Where are the brokerage statements? I want to see full audited brokerage statements. I don't want to see no fake doctored screenshots. Show me the proof. This guy is full of it. Stop the cap. And of course, we can't forget about his other failed investments like Shiba Inu and Seagull. 
SOS Limited, Mara, Riot, NNDM, BNGO, uh, which are all down tremendously from when he first talked about it, by the way. I mean, seriously, the list goes on of the amount of stocks that this guy called that are just down tremendously. Larry Jones also heavily promoted a cryptocurrency called Shiba Inu, which is nothing more than a pump and dump meme coin. However, on numerous occasions, Larry Jones referred to it as the Holy Ghost coin. Yesterday, I did a video about Shiba Inu. I call it the Holy Ghost coin. On December 27th of 2022, Larry Jones made a video called No Santa Rally, Tesla Under $100. And he literally told his followers that Tesla was going under $100. Um, where do I see Tesla? I see Tesla, if not by the end of this year, $100, under $100. When Larry Jones said this, Tesla was sitting at $123 per share. The low ended up being $113 per share and was basically right at the bottom when Larry Jones said that it would go below $100. Fast forward to today, the stock is currently up 59% from the time that Larry made the video saying that Tesla would indeed go below $100. Now, this actually caused some controversy for Larry as people were so upset with him that they actually let him have it in the comments. I'm not joking. This guy got absolutely destroyed in the comments because of he uh, making that call. Now, this caused Larry to become bothered by the backlash, so bothered that he made this video right here titled, I'm done covering Tesla, where he basically said that he's not going to talk about Tesla anymore. Now, I thought this guy was supposed to be Mr. Bible Christian Man. Wouldn't a true follower of Jesus just admit that they made a mistake and apologize and admit that they were wrong and move on? Well, Larry Jones didn't do that. Instead, he got butthurt and decided that he's going to make a video and say that he just wouldn't talk about Tesla again, simply because he got called out for being wrong. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that Larry Jones lies a lot. And for those who don't know, I actually used to watch his channel, watch his videos back in like 2020 and 2021 before I woke up to the fact that this guy is just an absolute liar. And what woke me up was when I would watch Larry Jones's videos, every single time a stock would go up, he magically got out at the right time and made all this money and did well and blah, blah, blah. And every single time a stock went down, Larry would always come out and say, oh, I sold out before it went down. I hope you guys went with me. Put your stop loss on blah, 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 blah. It's, it's, it's absolute insanity. But let me show you guys something very interesting. Because you see, in this video right here, Larry Jones literally lied on camera. I did buy some Apple. Um, I bought some some shares of Apple. No, I did not buy Apple, good people. What? I don't have my glasses on. I bought some shares of Tesla at eight ninety five. And Larry, do you believe that's the bottom? No. Larry, do you believe that's the bottom? No. Larry, do you believe that's the bottom? No. For crying out loud, how do you confuse Apple with Tesla? How is that even possible? Oh, I know how it's possible because Larry Jones is a liar. There's no possible way you could confuse whether you bought Apple or Tesla. You either did it or you didn't. The reason why he tripped himself up on camera is because he lied and because he got this whole fake pastor Bible Christian thing going on. Unfortunately, he has a lot of gullible and naive followers who fall for it every single time. So yeah, all in all, uh, Larry Jones is one of the worst people in finance YouTube, in my personal opinion. I don't think anybody should be following him. As a matter of fact, I think listening to his advice or following him is a complete waste of time. This guy lies a lot. He doesn't know anything of what he's talking about. He never shows proof that he's ever made money in the stock market. And whenever he actually talks about stocks, it's always this generic blah, 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 CNBC copycat stuff. It's always, oh, the Fed's going to do this or the market's going to go here or blah, blah. Like, he's never really saying anything. You never see him pull out any financials. There's never any, like, he's not reading any financials. There's no valuation models. There's no deep dive actual research into a stock. He just finds whatever random stock he finds on Twitter or whatever app he uses. I don't know how he's finding this stuff. And he promotes it to everybody and say, oh, this is the Holy Ghost coin. This is going to go into the moon. There's nothing wrong with not being the brightest guy in the world. But when you're giving financial advice on the Internet and stock advice, yes, I expect you to at least be able to pronounce Venezuela. <laughs> OK, so and so, yeah, there you guys have it. Thanks so much for watching. And let's all go ahead and enjoy this beautiful outro of Shiba Inu enthusiast and you know whatever that word is all right um uh uh um uh, uh, you know the Bugatti, the boo 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 Bugatti 
uh, 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 um, and you know, if you're going to, to extra exercise them, I can never say that word. In geopolitical is is Islam? I can never say that word. Venezuela, Venezuela actually ju 